Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to build a merge channel using transformer in JavaScript to connect to SQL Server database. And we're going to output the report in a CSV file format. So let me just show you what it look like. Here I have a channel that I already built. On the right hand side, this is the location where we going to output the file. For example, let's us just click deploy channel. Are you sure you want to deploy this channel? Click yes. And you will see the report generate in here. So let us open this report to find out what it looks like. Let me move it over so you can see. As you can see, we have a total of 290 records. On the first line, we have the header. And we're going to build this header in the JavaScript. Okay, so let's just close that and we're going to delete this file and we're going to start from scratch. Okay, let me drag this out of the side and I'm going to bring this over. To start a new channel, right click on the directory that on the group i'm sorry on the group so basically okay let me start over again here when you first open merge you will see default group if you want to create a new group you would click create new group um, right here new group okay and you can type in any group that you want okay for us we're going to focus on the YouTube right here. This is the group that we're going to do, the new channel, okay? The default group, these are my uh, training uh, channel. So don't worry about this. Right click on here and click new channel. Let's give it a name. We can say test. 0 to 8. The next step that we need to do is to set the data type. It is important for this particular exercise for the sort connector, the inbound would be XML and the outbound need to be raw. The destination inbound is raw and the outbound is also raw. Once you have that Done, click OK. Now let us move to the next step, which is sort. Under sort, the connector type that we're going to use is JavaScript reader. Okay, as far as the polling setting, let me just quickly go over how this portion work. Okay. So basically, under schedule type, you will see interval, time, and cron. For this particular channel, we're going to use time. Basically, when you choose time, it's going to default as the current time, which is 11.39. This is what I have right now. Okay? But you can, you can change this time to, um, let's say, 1 in the morning. That's fine too, okay? So whichever time that you prefer to do. Poll once on start. This means when you deploy the channel, if you put no, it will not generate the report. In another word, you're not gonna send uh, the, the report, okay? It will wait until one o'clock in the morning and it will send the report. If you put yes, once you deploy the channel, which 
we're going to do. We're going to build a report and then we're going to deploy it. And at that time, you will see the report generated at right at that moment. Okay, so we just want to see if it's work. We don't want to see, hey, uh, one o'clock, we're going to wake up uh, and we're going to see if it's work or not. And we're going to check the error. We don't want to do that. In this particular exercise, I want to show you, yes, deploy the channel. Is it working? Yes or no? If no, what is the error? Yes, we will see the report. Okay, that's what this means. All right, so the next step we're going to do is we're going to build a transformer. Under Edit Transformer, click that. Okay. And click New Step, Add New Step. In here, on the right hand side right here, look at my mouse. Okay, under Type, click the arrow. You will notice there's a lag in MERS. This is everybody experience about that the same way. Try to click like two, three times. Eventually, you will see it, you know, pop up the, the drop down. Okay. But it's going to take a few clicks, not just one click. It's not going to work. And don't assume that you click one click, it's not going to work. And say, oh, no, it's not working. No, this is how MERT is. Try to double click, triple click or something. Okay. You will see this gonna drop down. Now under the name, we can just give it a anything you want. So for this report, we're going to type. We're gonna give it a uh, em employee report because we are pulling employee data. Okay, employee report. All right. All right. All we have to do is that the first thing we have to do in the JavaScript is to connect to the SQL Server database okay now I'm not going to do that I'm going to show you what it look like in SQL Server in SQL management tool okay so here let me pull it up for you this is the table that we're going to use and we're going to use for the account, we're going to use SA, which means system admin. That's the account that I'm using. And the database that we are using is Merge DB. Okay, so Merge DB right there. These are the table that I have available. But the table, again, I'm, we're going to use for this is employee. And these are, uh, let me just connect that real quick. Okay. Execute it again. These are all the data that we're going to pull and we're going to generate in the report. All right, so remember this database name, table name. All right, let me minimize that. So, how do you connect to the database using JavaScript? I'm going to cut and paste the code that I have from the the channel that I already built so well we don't have to waste time and wait for me to type and all that okay so here's the code this is how you create a connection string using JavaScript in the transformer okay basically you got the driver the DB name the username which is account and the password this is particular for uh, my training only okay all right and the next step we're going to do is to write out query okay which is the query that we have in here okay let's I me mean, let me just paste that right there the way JavaScript works is that you have to put um, the SQL code in a, in a wrapped uh, string. Okay, so all we need the uh, double code, and then if you want to con if the the code the I'm sorry, if the uh, the query is too long, you have to concatenate to another string. So you gotta do this one. 
All right, this is uh, a little bit annoying, but you have no choice. You have to do that. So let me stop right here, and I'm going to show you a trick how you can do this in Notepad++. Why? What if you have a report and your query is like a thousand lines of code, 500 lines, 2000 lines of code? Are you going to stay there and, you know, manually type um, like that every single line and you're going to do this like that every single line? You're going to waste your time the whole day to do that. And it's not how we do it. Okay, so let me just quickly pause here and then we're going to go back to uh, the query and I'm going to show you how to do that in Notepad++. So copy the query. Let me move it over here and paste the query in here. Okay, first thing first, you have to move your cursor on the top line. Press Control H. And you will see that. Make sure when you have this open, first thing you do is to change the search mode to regular expression. Now we're going to work with the left string. Okay, the double code from the left. This is what it looks like. All right, so you see it? You get the little uh, hat symbol to find what? And then re replace with the double code. Now, watch, watch this carefully. Okay, replace R. Do you see that? Every single line, you will do that for you. Okay, it will do that for you. Now, how are we going to handle the double code with the plus sign. What you do is that you on find what field, you click the dollar sign. And this one you replace with the code and the plus sign connect con uh, to connect the, the string, okay? Now watch this. Do you see that? See that? Now we have this in here. We just copy and paste and put in our transformer. Isn't that much easier than stay there and type every single line? Okay, okay. Um, so let's say this, you have just 17 lines of code. What if, I, like I mentioned earlier, earlier you have 500 lines, uh, 1,000 lines, how are you gonna do it, you know? Real example, let's just, just do that so you can you see how quickly we can do, okay? Quick this, and let me just paste, just make a few paste. And then you will see that. Okay, now we have how many lines? About 102. About 100 lines. Let's just say 100 lines. Now you're going to stay here and you know, do all that? No, that's too much, right? We don't want to do that. So once again, Control H. Go to the hat symbol where you found what? And then put in the quotation. Click replace all. That will do that for you, okay? Put in the dollar sign and replace with the code and the plus sign. Replace all. What important here is you must check regular expression, all right? Okay, now we're done with this. This is just, just a quick tutorial for Notepad. All right, so this is the query that we're gonna run. Next, we're going to implement the try catch exception. And this is what the code look like. Moving along, we are going to implement the header because if you don't implement the header, the report will just pull out all the data, um, just pull out all the data like this. Okay, but without the header. So you need to implement the header as well. To implement the header, I'm going to paste the block of code that we have already. Okay. So basically from A through P, which is about 15, 16, I'm not sure, probably about 16 column. Um, and these are the header 
you can type it in whichever header name that you want it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be these you know in the in the database table you can give it whatever one you want say you can take column one column two column three whatever okay so this is how you uh, implement the header in the JavaScript next we're going to implement parsing the result set coming back from the database query okay and let me just copy the block of code that we already have these are all the columns that we're going to uh, pull out the data okay and this is comma delimited so you need to add the comma between each field okay and we're almost there okay last and not least we're going to create a variable so we can uh, we can um, pull out this value or the current date in the format of year month and day and the part the, i'm sorry and the output file name you again you can write anything you want okay for 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 this channel we write employee report and we have it underscore and then we add the current date which is this variable right here so it's going to come out the value from here in here okay and again dot csv of course another important thing is that we're going to map this to the output file name so file output name make sure you remember this because this is where you are going to put in the destination output file name okay all right so remember this part right here and remember the one on the top because we're going to call this in the um, in another window when we go back there okay okay let's just copy this employee report and go back here now first before we do anything i forgot to mention this before we do anything you have to validate the step and just validate the transformer but let me show you how you need to make this as a a hobby a habit every time you create a transformer you need to do this okay click validate step you see that validate successfully validate transformer successfully okay of course where you have everything copy and paste you already built a channel you have everything here already copy and paste no error right of yeah sometimes you're gonna get error too but in this case we don't we lucky we don't now let's say if I delete a uh, parenthesis here and validate transformer do you see that <laughs> you're gonna get an error validate the step you get an error so it's a good habit like I say it's a good habit to always double check this okay don't assume that you have everything correct I don't I did not when I first you know write this whole thing up I have an error here and there okay so let's just copy this re employee report because we're gonna call it okay now go back to channel and under here under here this is where we're gonna call employee report now now i have uh, three lines of code already so i'm just gonna copy and paste it in here for you okay employee report remember i told you that so that is it in the in the javascript reader setting here we're going to call the transformer in here okay let's say if you have multiple reports you're going to build multiple transformer and you're going to call each of them outside okay but that's going to be part two in part one we're going to, to build one report only to make things uh, fast and easy for you guys i know i speak a little bit slow because i'm a type of person that i want you to get things done right the first time okay we're gonna go through this every single line i'm not like gonna tell you 
talk so fast and you're gonna miss i miss some step and i i don't know what i'm missing and i don't want you to uh, uh put on the wrong information for you guys okay so the next step we're going to do is we're going to work on the destination okay as far as the destination the connector type that we're going to use is file writer q message just click always um, the directory that we're going to use is the this location which is right here okay i show you from the beginning of the video and the file name now this is important remember i show you this earlier you have to remember this is where you map it see now copy that put it over here put it over in the file name and you want to override everything for this particular exercise only it depends on your situation too okay if if the client say hey uh, mm, you want to output the report daily and or every six hours or something and they don't want to override then you don't want you don't want to override it okay for this particular exercise i would like to override this so it doesn't continue to generate the report every single day you know save up some space okay so what we next what we need to do next is test the file writer make sure it's connect to the, the location that we're going to dump the file for here we're going to do uh, encoded data drag it and drop right there okay so let's walk through this one more time quickly because we did everything already Make sure you check the data type. Make sure right here, enable. You need to check enable. If you don't have this, you cannot deploy the channel, okay? So make sure this is checked. The sort, you have the report here. When we deploy this report, it's gonna generate the report right away. And uh, it's gonna generate the report daily at one o'clock in the morning in transformer this is make sure under type here you click javascript and be mindful that you have to click a couple times in order for this to drop down for you see i click one two three i don't know four time already and still it's gonna take some time see now five six times seven times so it's gonna take some time um, check your code in here. If something wrong, uh, you get an error. Always go back and check your code. It is not the channel. It's fault. <laughs> it's ninety nine percent out of the time. I something wrong with the channel. First thing I would do is go back check your code. Check your code. Okay. Um, destination. It's pretty easy. Straightforward from here. Um, Make sure you choose the connector type, file writer. Um, put in your directory where you want to output the file and file name. Copy and paste from the transformer there, okay? All right, so let's save it. And we're going to deploy it. But let me just do that. Okay, so you see the screen right here, left side and right side. Okay. So we deploy. Do you want to report this channel? Yes. I noticed that I make a typo uh, under the destination. Um, for this file name, you cannot just copy and paste from the transformer JavaScript in here. Okay, remember what I showed you earlier? You cannot just copy and paste that. All right, you in here, copy and paste, but you also need something extra, which is this little sign and the dollar sign. 
and back. Okay, if you miss that part, you need to go back and fix it, okay? Now, I apologize for that. Let us try to deploy it again. So we have that taken care of. Let's deploy and you should see the report generated in this location. There you go. You see that? And right here, drag this out a little bit. It shows reading but it's already finished so just a little bit a few seconds later it's gonna say idle but that's not important okay what important is see that idle right here so what important is we have to check out the report to make sure everything look correct okay so let me drag it over here see that this is the header we implement in the javascript transformer okay a little bit of uh it's not a trick, but something that I like to share with you. Um, I, I am, I'm working in the database um, field for so long and generating hundreds and hundreds of reports for, for the university, for the hospital. I have done all that. So this is something that it, it helped me uh, when, when, when I looked at the Excel file. So first thing is... Um, when you open an Excel file, spreadsheet, or anything like that. So go to data and click filter, which means every single field will have a filter here. Uh, part of the data validation will help you because you can filter out anything that you want. That's pretty straightforward and easy, right? Quick tip, but it's very useful. Secondly, go to view. Oh, um, keep your... Uh, Keep your cell highlighted on the first cell, okay? Go to view, click freeze pan, click on freeze top row. Why are we doing that? The reason we did that be because we want to keep the header freeze. So as you scroll down, let's say, hey, I want to look for a record 50, 50, right? Okay, if you, if you don't freeze this, the, the header will scroll down as well. So, so now you freeze the header. You, when you look at this row, you can see, oh, okay. This cell right here, what's the header name? What's this field for? Oh, you can see because you have a header already. Okay, so just, just something quick. Uh, just take a quick look at the report. Um, if you have something like this, which is the date, so highlight the cell, right click, cell format, um, in date, we can choose, you know, you can choose many days that you want, but we're just going to choose symbol, okay? Um, go down to the record. We need to verify the count. And of course, the data, each field, but this is not uh, we, we're here for, okay? Just want to look at, there are 290 um, row record, okay? 291 because we subtract out one row from the header okay so this is how you do it build a merge channel using transformer that connect to the SQL server database to pull the data and generate out in the Excel file well um, This is how we do it. If you have any question, um, don't hesitate to uh, shoot me an email. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, help me um, support this channel and um, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. In the next video, we're going to build um, the transformer via Trava, using JavaScript, but this time we're going to build multiple reports, not just one report. You will see like two or three reports in the next video, part two, okay? Until the next time, take care, you guys. God bless. Thank you.